Hi, this is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next I'm going to talk about a book that sold for some crazy numbers this week and what alternatives you have to that major Silver Age key. Stay tuned! Alright, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So, like I mentioned in the intro, in honor of the kind of craziness and seemingly endless high prices that we're seeing for a lot of books out there, I, I thought I'd create a new segment that I call, It Sold For What? Now, as I mentioned in the past, I tend to keep a pretty close eye on the comic book market because I like to buy books and I also like to sell books. So I, I like to know kind of what that pricing is around various key issues. And so I watch a lot of different uh, places that, that you can buy and sell books on, uh, Instagram, eBay, Comic Link, Comic Connect, Heritage, all this kind of stuff. Um, and every once in a while I see sales that seem to be a little higher or you know a little outside the norm of what I was generally going to expect that book to go for. And so I thought I'd, I'd pick out one of those sales and talk about different options that you have uh, outside of that book that you could go and pick up today uh, that you may then end up seeing those books move later or just as alternatives to that kind of key issue. Um, and so this week, the book that I'm talking about, I actually do have a copy of. Uh, so it's right here. And I showed this one in a prior unboxing as well. So this is Fantastic Four number 12. So this week we saw a CGC 7.0 copy of this book sell for $3,600. Now, this isn't totally outside the realm of what I was expecting for this book because we did see a $3,600 sale last August, but that one had been kind of an anomaly to prior sales and a sale that occurred afterwards. Generally, uh, we'd been seeing this book sell for around $2,500 to $2,600, including in just January of this year, we had a sale at uh, $2,640. Um, and 6.5s have been selling kind of in the $1,600 to $1,800 range, so that $2,500 price point seemed about right. So that $3,600 kind of jumped out at me as a, a real uh, high price for this book. And it's not a cheap book in any grade. Uh, it holds a lot of value even to very low grades. And even in, in, on March 8th, we had a 1.5 sell for $360. So you're gonna be spending a few hundred dollars even for a very low grade copy of this book. Now, the reason this book is so coveted is that it's, it's this classic cover of the first time that the Hulk meets the Fantastic Four. And more importantly, it's the first time that he meets the Thing, because the Hulk and the Thing have a decades-long history of fighting each other to determine who's the strongest uh, character in that in that universe. And even though the Hulk traditionally is the uh, the winner, every once in a while they seem to kind of throw the Thing a bone and they they let him <laughs> let him win that fight. But because of this, it means that you have a lot of options for alternatives to pick up to this book that aren't going to cost you hundreds or thousands of dollars. So the first one, I'm, I'll plug a uh, picture of it up here, is Fantastic Four number 25. Now this is still an early Silver Age book. You know, 1964, it's the first uh, Hulk, thi uh, Hulk versus Thing cover battle. And it's also another big thing with that book is it's the second Silver Age appearance of Captain America. So there's a couple reasons to pick up that book. Um, now, I think this is a great option to Fantastic Four number 12 uh, because low to mid-grade books are actually very affordable for, for a book this early and a book that's this important. Uh, a 5.0 just sold on March 11th for $425. That's not a lot for th that kind of like a key issue. And a nice presenting 2.0 just sold on January 16th for 110 bucks. So you can get into this book for 100 to maybe three or $400 for a nice presenting copy. And you know, between a 2.0 and a 4.0, 100 to 250 bucks has been historically the norm. Now, that may change as we start to see the Fantastic Four start to appear in the, the MCU, so it might be a good book to, to try and pick up. Um, but right now it is a very affordable, pretty major Silver Age key. Now another one, if you're if you're looking for something maybe a little later in the Bronze Age, a, another real classic cover, put up here, is uh, Fantastic Four number 112. Now this is from 1971, so early Bronze Age. This is the second Hulk versus Thing battle kind of cover. And like I said, it's another classic cover and it is very affordable outside of high grades. 
Now, high grades, because of the black cover, it is extremely expensive. A 9.8 is gonna cost you over $5,000. I mean, this is not a cheap book. Um, but it drops in price really, really fast after that. An 8.0 sold on February 22nd for just 288 bucks. And a 4.5 sold on February 18th for $140. So between that hundred and kind of three hundred dollar price range, you can get anything from a four o to an eight o, and an eight o is a really respectable looking book. I mean, if you can get a book like that for two hundred and fifty or three hundred bucks, I think that's a that's a great buy. And again, especially with everything that's potentially coming with the Fantastic Four, I think that those are good books to pick up because they have a lot of room to move. Now, if the Hulk versus the Thing isn't really, you know, what you're looking for, but you have some other characters that you're really interested in the Marvel Universe, there are a few other great options as well. So, plug in uh, this one right here. So, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 119. It's also an early Bronze Age book from 1973. And here, if you're a Spider-Man fan, it's a great book to pick up. You know, it's Hulk versus Spider-Man. Uh, it's an awesome cover where they're, you know, facing off against each other right on that cover. Uh, and it's also very affordable outside of that 9.6 or 9.8 range. I mean, a 9.8 is going to cost you $1,200 to $1,500. So that's, you know, it's not a cheap book, but because it's a Bronze Age book, it starts to drop very quickly outside of that grade. Um, a 9.6 sold on March 1st for $550, a 9.4 in February for $380. And in the 7.0 to 8.0 range, 100 to 120 bucks is very common. Uh, so an, an 8.0 sold just on March 1st for $118. I mean, these are very affordable prices for, again, you know, great covers and, and situations that we could end up seeing, you know, more of in the uh, in the MCU. You know, Spider-Man facing off against Hulk is not something that would be outside, you know, the area of expectations. So uh, I, I think that's, that's also, it's a great book. It's one of these, you know, kind of crossover books where you get a, you know, a real major character crossing over into Spider-Man and I think, again, a great book to pick up and a very affordable book, even in some kind of higher grades in the seven to eight and, you know, even the kind of low nine range. Now, one other book that I've actually mentioned in a prior unboxing video as well, uh, that is uh, a great Silver Age book to pick up if you're looking for something with the thing, uh, is Submariner number eight. And again, we've got this great cover where Submariner and the thing are battling each other, you know, right on that front cover and it is very expensive in high grades because of that black. Uh, you're gonna pay $4,000 to $5,000 for something that's in a 9.8, but Silver Age Submariner books right now are, I mean, they are cheap. You can get very high grades of a lot of those books in that Submariner run for pretty cheap. And uh, so with this one, an 8.0 sold on January 25th for just $100. I mean, that is a really respectable grade for a book from 1968, and it's going to look really nice. And just $100 for that book, I think, is fantastic. Because if we see the Submariner start to appear in anything, you know, any news that he's coming into the MCU, I think that Silver Age run of books are, start, are going to start to get pretty expensive. And right now, they are very affordable. And, and that's why, like I showed in that prior video, that's why I was picking up some of those key issues. You know, Submariner number one. Uh, the you know his just first issue in that that run as well as Submariner 5 and 6 which are the first and second appearances of Tiger Shark which I think are, are awesome covers um, but kind of back to this one back to Submariner number 8 even a 9-2 sold in September of last year for $233 and below a 7-0 you can find this book for under a set under a hundred bucks so it is a very affordable book with a cover that is is I think one of the most desirable covers in all of the Submariner run and so I, I think that's a great book to pick up if you can find it in kind of that expected price range. Now, I mean I wouldn't go out and, and pay up for for any of these books you know you don't need to go necessarily set a record for the book but if you can find them in that those kind of historical price ranges right now I, I would grab them because I think with Fantastic Four coming and the potential of Submariner coming a lot of these books will start to get more expensive as time goes on. Now Another alternative that you, <laughs> that you always have if you're looking for a, a big kind of like Hulk battle is uh, this book that I have back here. So uh, Hulk 181 where you've got him fighting Wolverine, but uh, that book has definitely already gotten really <laughs> expensive in just about any grade. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be dropping anytime soon, but uh, 
if you can find a copy of that book and it seems to be around GPA, I would definitely recommend picking it up. So those are the alternatives that I wanted to show for Fantastic Four number 12. Now obviously you can go out and pick up this book, uh, just it, you should generally expect that you're going to be paying in the mid hundreds to into the thousands for just about any copy of that book now. Uh, so I think that these are great alternatives to Fantastic Four number 12 if you're looking for kind of a Hulk thing battle or uh, a battle that includes one of those characters. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this, and I'll keep watching those sales and looking for some alternatives to these big books that have been selling recently. Thanks again for watching!